at the Iron Man, of course, it's a match. So you use match ammunition. And for match ammunition, the main thing is that it's accurate. And of course, you can buy match ammo that's already loaded up, ready to go for you. But the Iron Man also duplicates self-defense scenarios. So when you move to true self-defense, your carry gun, you want to use self-defense ammo. So you want to use something like the Nosler Defense. Different bullets, different loads. And what you're looking for is a bullet that expands so it doesn't penetrate too deeply, but delivers the energy that you're looking for. So we're going to shoot some defensive ammo in here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, shoot a 40 Smith & Wesson, 200 grain jacket hollow point. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go take a look. Well, we got two down on the ground here, got another hole right here, and no exit. So I'm guessing somewhere in there, look at there, bullet right in the bottom, that's perfect. We went through two jugs, stopped in the third jug, not over penetration, but really good stopping performance. That's the difference. Match ammo you use for matches, self-defense ammo is what you use when you want to stop somebody to save your life. The tougher the stages, the more I want to come again next year. Dust devils appear out of nowhere at any moment to add an extra challenge. At the Ironman, you have a lot of competitors helping each other, which is great to see. The camaraderie and the support that we give each other is really unheard of. I've got direct competitors that I'm running my pistol to or extra ammunition or telling them that they missed a target. Where in other competitions and other sports, you're not allowed to do that. And you can just sit there and smile because your main competitor just missed an array of targets and he's going to get penalized up the wazoo. But here, you're actually going to tell him to go back and shoot those so that he can shoot the best match possible and hopefully you shoot the best match possible and you can see how it washes out at the end. Competing in the Ironman takes gear, a lot of gear, where every stage requires you to use shotgun, <laughs> rifle, and handgun, and the shots can range from a few feet to half a mile. This is not a fat guy friendly stage. <laughs> the sport's not for young or old or anybody particular, everybody shoots it. What the heck is going on here? Hey. Close in rifle stage like this is a perfect opportunity to use these 45 degree side sights. They work great. Stand by. The stages keep getting more and more challenging as the day goes on. There are paper targets, no-shoot targets, knockdowns, poppers, swinging and flying targets. Anything goes at the Ironman. Holy cow, nice Iron Man, it's not for the faint-hearted. What a great course of fire, starting across the road with the rifle all in close, trench warfare using those 45 degree sights on the rifle, ground the rifle coming across the road about a 100 yard run into the shotgun bay. I had a great plan with the shotgun, but as soon as I couldn't spin those spinners with one shot, the plan went out the window. Shotgun got done. I almost left one standing. Thank goodness you're allowed to coach here. Got to the pistol bay, smoothed everything out. Of 
course, I did get the dummy out there, which means I get the bonus points. But I don't know how long that took me. So the bonus plates, the plate rack at whatever distance that is, by 20 yards, 25 yards. I got that despite the heavy breathing. So good run, lots of fun. It's the Iron Man. This is the Iron Man. <laughs>